Hey there, everybody. Thank you for joining me again with Voices of Courage. I'm your host, Brandy J. I have with me today another amazing guest from the Council of Christ. He goes by the name of Brother Clinton Davis. Let's go ahead and welcome him. Hey, Clinton, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am well. I am well. So happy to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Yes, yes. Um, everybody, once again, this is Brother Clinton Davis from the Council of Christ. He's um, another member that, you know, that I uh, know and that we share, you know, some great and amazing news. Right, Clinton? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> this thing is going to go down when everybody, they, they playing. We ain't yes, playing, we serious. You got oh, the main yes. man on there, he's getting, he getting it done. Yes, it sure is. So, Clinton, can you go ahead and, and let the listeners know, how how is it that you that you know that Christ is walking the earth? Well, I uh, was on Beagle and I heard him. I heard that he was on that. So I went to go see, I said, it's a brother, man. Let me, let me go see what he's talking about. And I heard him, and I was like, I was stuck. Because <laughs> everything I wanted to hear, he said. And the church didn't say it. None of the pastors said it. None of them. But see, the thing was, they ain't supposed to know. He was supposed to come and bail us out. But it's a long story on the bail out. But everybody don't know they gave y'all something that they wanted y'all to believe, but they ain't believe it. They were doing stuff behind closed doors that you don't know about. They were kissing the Christ and and the, and 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 Madonna and Black Madonna. Yeah, do as I say, but not as I do. Y'all know how it goes. That's what the real deal is. Yep. But I really came on, on time to bail us out. Yes, he did. Yes, they he all did. got together in one floor and, 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 and stole our stuff. They killed the Christ, was the Yahoo, I mean, it was uh, Petro the second at that time. And they had they had to do it. Otherwise, if you, if you kill the king, you can get all the stuff. And they did. But they wow. all got together on one accord. So all we got to do is get together on one accord, forget our differences, forget how we believe, how we think, and join this cause because it's really for us. They made yeah. it a race thing. We did. They did. So they picked yeah. on us. That's not sure. We got jewels scattered all around the four corners of the earth. That's what the real deal is. And we come, yep. we we got help to get us out. So we can get our stuff back. And I guarantee you, when we get it back, we'll appreciate it. We won't be like the forefathers. They were high on the hog and forgot about God. He don't exist. They ain't want to listen to him. They got everything. They want to be like all the other nations. For what? He done gave them everything, so so they lost. It. And then they mm. fell from, they fell from the high thought. They they lost all they had to go all the way to the bottom. Now it fell on us. We the seventh generation, and we're the ones gonna get it done. We the Hollywood star. We the grasshoppers that's low in the earth, crying out. Wake up, y'all. We got the bag. Christ gonna give you your reparation. Who you really get it from? From 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 the people over here or Christ? So he pays real well. Your bank account, you gonna be smiling. Trust me. We got the UCC one. We own the whole world. That's the biggest trust fund in the world. Go back and check it out. Who names on it? Christ and God on it. So that's all. 
All y'all need to do is sign the petition. There you support it. That's all. We're going to judge the Roman Catholic Church. They ain't never been judged, but we've been judged. They know what time it is. They, already, they don't follow the script all the way down. They fix it there where nobody can come and mess it up. So if God shows up, then everything will go as planned. But y'all didn't know that. But y'all know now. Because I'm telling you. We're going to get the biggest value we ever got. Join the train. You can't beat them. Join them. Join us. So we all about no wars, no be, no uh, no deception, lying to each other, poor, ain't got. We finna have y'all. So don't down the messenger. Yeah, the, the lie was so huge. So the biggest lie we ever been told, right? The whole world was lied to. Oh yeah. When Jews kiss kiss the enemy. I mean, the enemy kiss Jews. No, Judas kiss the uh, Christ. I make sure I get it right. He fell back because he knew. He knew who he was. Wow. But the Bible is based on parables. Yeah. See, what, what everybody is, is messing up on, they can't get the parables. The parables, you got really the book is sealed. You ain't supposed to know nothing. You supposed to yeah. come as a little child. But well, y'all come knowing everything. No more ain't God. No, no, no. Don't do that. No. Listen and what scripture is that, Brother Kitten? It's mm -hmm. Revelation 5, right? Right. Book sealed. Yep. Seven they don't sealed. talk about that part. The pastor don't talk no. about that part, do he? <laughs> no, no, because they convict him. He ain't got no business with the book. He teaching the will. He preaching the will. But he ain't doing the will. He not the one to do it. Y'all do is the one. He was picked yeah. by God. No one Spirit, goes to the high Father. Yeah. That's right. They just bypassed they Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> they said, move, Jesus. Try to get right to him, huh? Couldn't wait. <laughs> well, see, Esau went out before Jacob because in the, in, in the book it said he gradually healed. That means you stop. What you doing? You pass out loud. You ain't got no light. I got the game plan. What you got? And everybody come up on the panel. What they got? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But you, you, you in the ain't in the mail kills that they go on. It's an order to this, and you got to fall under the Father and the Son. You can't appoint yourself. He has to appoint you. I've been appointed. I met both. They came to my house. I you share that experience with us? Yeah, yeah, an huh? amazing experience. Could you can you share that experience um with the listeners? You meeting the father and the they son? Came to my house. They came to my house. The son came. He had Danny and St. James and his wife. And uh I asked him, I say, I don't get why nobody gonna believe that you the one. They've been waiting for you. And no sooner than I said that, that little light popped out. He said it's a little pin light, like the optometrist use, but it's brighter than that. It's a little light. It's small, but he can see you. <laughs> it's got power. Yes, sir. That's amazing. I looked at that little light. And I ain't say nothing. But I wasn't scared. They talking about, well, were you scared? Uh, no, why? I'm on the right side. You wouldn't have came to me if I wasn't on the right side. He came to see me. So I'm part of the priesthood. That's why I'm carrying all this out. We're going to make this happen. It's going to happen. And everybody's going to be
You can say some of them, but not all of them. So they're going to wake up. When they let all the prisoners out and let all the animals out, all the zoos, we're going to see how y'all fare. Y'all going to run that. Y'all going to run the Ethiopia. I guarantee you, you will. Because mm-hmm. it's an open, it's a open, open book case. He telling y'all, this the last supper. This the marriage supper of the lamb. We get married. Matter yes. of fact, we already married. We already. And, and then that's part of the lie just, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? We weren't, like you said, we weren't supposed to be in the book. Well, the scrolls, nope. and then everything we were, that was taught to us, we were, we were deceived, and and people don't understand being married to who the bride is, and being in marriage and everything. I mean, I'm still learning, you know, but I had to what empty out my cup, right, to even receive any of this. Right, by us being married to him, we commit adultery. That's why he called us an adulterous generation. So we getting <laughs> all the false information and living with, sleeping with, making love to it. Carolina. But that's what we were doing. But he come yeah. to wake us up. Y- y'all want to bite on, keep going? He helping you. This for us. They picked on us. So God say that we going to come out with great stuff. Because God going to punish them. They did us wrong. We did them wrong. So all, all they did was I, 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 I for I, two for two. You kill my dog, I'm going to kill your cat. Y'all know what time it is. It's just that simple. Hmm. Y'all making it hard. It ain't making it hard. This shouldn't happen. With or yeah. without you. Well, let me ask you a question. Prophet, what would I go ahead? What'd you say? It's prophecy. That's why. Yeah. Why it's happening. Yeah. Prophecy, not history. So, so can you share something? We both shared something because we all were in the same boat, right? The, the big lie with, uh, mm. and that's why you know, for some people, they're not emptying out their cup, so they can't come out of it. So what, what what kind of stuff before you felt before you hearkened to the word and you heard um, Yaju's voice? What kind of stuff were you told? What was it like when you were uh, coming up in church, and what what did things make sense? Didn't make sense? And what were those lies that you were told that? Most of us here. Well, it's coming, coming out, coming out the womb. You got to go to church. You got to give God some praise, and you got to pay tithe, and you got to get baptized. I did all that, all that. I listened to the pastors. They got the same old story, same old story every Sunday. And if you ain't paid no tithe, they talk about it. Behind your back, and some of them in front of you. God don't need your money. That ain't what it was about. And being baptized, I mean, you being baptized in the, in the, in the, in the spirit. You waking up, you being transformed. But it's all about the Solomonic dynasty. They, they ain't tell you about that. 250 kings on that. On, on, we ran the whole world. Everything just started falling down to the 1800s. 1868. Magdala War. They came in and took everything. They ain't do it one time. They did it twice. That's how much we got. Britain got all our stuff. Ask Scott, she'll tell you. Yeah. And so, get about it? and so what they did was they took they took the script, right? And 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 yep. switched it up, right? <laughs> you did against them. Told us we ain't nothing. God don't care nothing about y'all. We ain't y'all. You know, pretty much. But we gave it to him. Your forefather did. 
could you could you explain to the listeners a little bit more what exactly you mean when you say forefathers? Because I want them to understand exactly what's going on here. So when you say forefathers, who who are you, are you speaking of? Well, uh, the people of uh, during Petro's time, they didn't kill exactly. him until 1868. It, it, it's Ethiopia. That's where everything started. But see, they gave y'all a book, which the whole world wasn't supposed to have. That's where they messed up. But they did it on purpose. So you wouldn't know when when, when everything would go down. You wouldn't know. But they know. That's why they heard and gave y'all and y'all stuff back. We know who we are. Not not holy, but we will when we judge them. They're going to tell everything. That's around the corner, y'all. Get ready. Yes. We're going to be on sure TV. Is. People don't see that as real. This is real. Yeah, God is real. Down. Close that stuff out. Yeah. You know, even I have Zoom calls. He even talk to big time people. They know what time it is. We know, but they do. It's a game, y'all. This is a script. A movie script. It's happening in real life, right in front of everybody. You don't believe me? Keep watching. Keep watching. You know, when, when you say that, right when you say uh, that, um, you know, about it's a script, you know. Uh, it, it takes me back to one day when I was reading um, Shakespeare and he was quoting something and he said, the world is a stage. And I stopped and I was like, wow. And I started thinking about how things play out and how things aren't always what it seems. And that's so perfect, you know, because it really was set up, a stage was set up and they knew. And we just didn't know that we were the, the actors and the <laughs> the props and everything. And, and they just played with us. Well, you know? We in it. We in the movie. All of us. Everybody playing their part. And we got it on tape. That's the bad part about it. You tell you all that noise. And you saying that he ain't the crack. He ain't the one. He, well, who else? Who the hell else? He always said, if I ain't the one, then let's go find find who, who is. Exactly. But they can't never say. Then the one they call you the you. Like, Yeah. Yeah. We got people look like he tells you that. You got people talking like me, acting like me, reading what I read. But I'm in heaven. They man of the field. That mean the world. They ain't got they ain't got the light. I got it. I got the whole game plan. I know how it's gonna start and how it's gonna end. The, the movie got a, a start, a middle, and an ending. We at the end. Y'all just coming in. We don't we we don't we don't fault the fight. The wolves trying to take the take the troops away from it, but they can't. Now if you don't let them, you got you got to hold it with both hands. It's valuable. It's that valuable. Everybody can come up talking, they talk. You know they ain't lying. They ain't heard the voice. The book say you hear the voice. They're going to lead you out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. That's what mm -hmm. the book said. Didn't say they was going to come pick them up on no cloud, did they, Brother Clinton? Nope. See, that's misinterpreting the word. The will. The book is about God's will. You want to tell you what the whole book is about? The second of Solomonic Dynasty and the restoration of it. That's what the book is about. And the king is going to rise. He's going to rise and, and bail us out. He, 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 we talking about the whale, which is the beast, which is the system. Lies. That's all it is. System of lies. Yeah, very Man true. 
Go ahead. But man, man don't know. Man ain't supposed to know. Man was supposed to wait on on on, on God. You yep, and messed everything, messed everything up. Messed everything up. You can't come like a thief in the night. He here. I'm here. But you don't hear me though. That's it. They they stuck in they stuck in their ways. They got that uh ego, you know, no no humility. You know, you know, they keep saying two thousand years ago, it's a history book, but they didn't stop to think what kind of sense does that make? Two thousand years ago, so what we've been doing all this time? Where where would Jesus been all this time? We've been doing what did he do before that? Like, does it make any sense? Now, if you look at prophecy and these revelations, you start to click, you'd be like, wait a minute. And then you pay attention to your situation, you can see it unfolding. But you know, they they stay stuck, you know, that it's that going back to that that part where it's like you have to come like a child, you have to you have to let go of the old thinking and be willing to like a baby. It ain't hard to let it go. I'll be here. Right? Yeah, they should want to let this shit go. <laughs> this gonna lie to me. I, I, I'm praying and all this is. I'm doing the stuff. I ain't talking to nobody. I'm talking to myself. What the hell? Yeah. 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 It makes Come me think of... Uh, it's a joke. I heard one of the sisters the other day, I think it was Sister Bridget, and we were talking in the in the in the council and she was speaking of how like how people think that they can uh you know because they misinterpret because they have no understanding, but how they think that you can just pray like a, you know to God and he'll answer or give you what you want, you know. In my head, I always think like people treat God like he's a genie or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then he'll he'll get you it, you know. Yourself, you program yourself into thinking that because yeah. it was a lie. First of all, you reading somebody else's mail that don't even concern you. Hey, how you doing reading somebody else's mail? It's sealed. It's only for them. Can you carry the script out? No, you can't. You weren't selected. You weren't appointed. He was appointed. He'll tell you. You go and, and, and listen to some of the stuff he say. He tell you. He didn't ask for this. When he was even told, he, he he didn't ask for it. But God kept showing them that light. That light showed up one day and reading the book out there. That same light he saw, I saw. So that's confirmation there. He got to be the one. If he say that, he not lying about nothing. And then not only that, he put his picture all over. He even had a guy come up and say he was a cocaine dealer. Wow. Come on, man. It's on tape, sir. You can't take that bite. You you put your foot deep in your mouth. That's the Christ. You think he ain't gonna remember that? He gonna remember it, sir. Yeah. Hey, Brother Clay, think about it. And now if this man was not who he was, he wouldn't be able to bust out on camera a UCC one because that's a document that's only created on a certain type of paper and a document that if somebody somehow, which I don't see happening, had that they, and he's all over the social media and online, it would have been cut down already. You know what I mean? But can't nobody hold Man. nothing like this up. Nobody has the document. <laughs> they can't have it. They can't get it. He got his picture everywhere. He's been all over the state. Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't making no sense. They ain't gonna be all that stuff. You don't have to change this up and change that up and all death threats and all that kind of carrying on. They gonna kill him and they ain't gonna do nothing. Not God, God in it. Mess with him if you want. You'll see. Mm -mm -mm. And I ain't nothing to play with. I, I, I promise you it ain't. And you know, you know, Brother TV, you know, in the, the will of God, right? You know how they speak of uh, how he was uh, hung on the cross and the piercings and all that stuff. They don't realize, because they think it's a history book, that it's happening now. The very people that are speaking this way are the ones that have, are playing out that part where people deny Jesus. Where they, you know, when they talk about piercing him, and they, that's, that's they're doing mm -hmm. it with their words. And Jesus ain't nothing but just us. Just, just that, yeah. us. They put Jesus to me in the deity. Mm -hmm. Colossians 1 11. Jesus, just us. The fellow workers yeah. of God. 
but the circ of the circumcision. We've been changed, been cut, the lives been cut out of us. And we that's how you know people really don't read the sin. Bible. They say they read the Bible, but how come they don't see that part, Brother Clinton? Because it says it in Colossians, I read it, and it talks about, how, and then in another one where Christ just means anointing one, the head, and then it talks about what you just said about Jesus, just us, workers of God, of, um, the workers. But why nobody, so they, either they didn't read it, and they ain't read, you know, or either way it go, they would know this, right? If they were so-called, knew what they were talking about. Well, see, that's what happened. That's what happened when you read somebody else's mail. You being nosy. You ain't know what flavor the Kool-Aid is. And it definitely ain't got no sugar in it. Especially when you get it. So you going to add to it and take away this and add that? No, you ain't supposed to even be messing with it, period. You're supposed to live your life and wait for them to come back. Well, to wait for him to show up, because I don't say come back. He was here all the time. He grew up right amongst his brothers and sisters in the battle of the beast, live. The system. That's what he grew up in. He knows. He started changing. You know how he got the call? He, he made a transition. We had to make a transition. So we had to accept what he said. Yep. Not only did he say it, he did. He's done everything. We got this. We got the petition. But in the book, it said all petitions shall be granted. Why is everything happening like it's happening? Why are the petitions being granted? Everything ha on, happening on time, like it's supposed to, like clockwork. And you're going to deny all that? Well, then you deny it by yourself. Yeah. So there ain't no way, ma'am. I'm getting my bag. Yes, sir. But what it kind of shows is that they never really believed in the first place. They believed in themselves. They didn't believe in, you know, in the sun. Because if they believed, well, why it's so hard for them to receive? <laughs> this going to be a well, surprise to them, right? Believe? How you gonna believe? How you gonna believe yourself? And you don't even know the whole game plan. Exactly. You got bits and pieces. You running? You running with the bits and pieces you got? You ain't got the whole thing. That vain imagination is strong. You <laughs> real? You real? Yeah. It yeah, makes me think. Everybody alone. Everybody. You know, Brother Clinton, you know, it makes me think of, right, as I go along on this journey, like what what our whole lives, how they indoctrinated us. It's always been about this moment when they put us in school. It was about this moment. It was to take our minds and completely make it to where when it came that we wouldn't even be able to understand because our whole life was a lie. We came out, like you said, when we came out the womb, they put us in schools. You know, and, and and conditioned our minds to not be able to intake these things. Showed us these movies, put these ideas out there, and then you know, and so people are kind of like, "Well, that can't happen. That's not real. That's not you know." And it's like that that, that imagination. You know, Rockefeller took out uh, critical thinking. You know, out of schools. Why would why would he target that first? Because he knew it's in the mind. You got to got to you know condition that the mind to the point where when truth does come, people don't even know what it is. So much information, but had no knowledge, no understanding. Yeah, it was some great minds put that thing together. Come on, yeah, yeah. you right about that. <laughs> the number too, man. Oh man. Yes, number. But we got them back. Know, we ain't. But, you would think people would go come running, you know, to this, even if they weren't sure. Like, what else you got to lose? What, what else? You know, you, but you, if you didn't believe, you should hope that there is. Because if this is what all we got left, then damn, we, we this is bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> and I, I never believed that, that well, God knew to do what's to do. I knew well, in my heart well, that no matter what, well, God would need to just leave us here in this type of, um, you know, I knew that much. I, I didn't is. have full understanding. <laughs> The thing is, they're going to come running because when they let all the prisoners out, they've been in there for years, and they let all the animals loose out of all the zoos in the U.S. 
they gonna make a, they gonna make a decision quick, fast, and hurt because America ain't, ain't gonna be livable no more. Okay. So everyone, that's Brother Clinton, and I hope that you were uh, you were you the two really listened to what he spoke of. You know, Clinton has had a very awesome story, even with his um, meeting of with the Messiah in the light. Now, for me, I would say that that means something because I've always felt like when people spoke of the will of God, not the word of God, but they said it was the word of God, um, I always believed that they were missing a spiritual component. For, and, that, and, these, and this is just my journey, uh, just experience itself, that these things would be within me and, and in my mind of what's going on. And I knew I would listen to people and in my head it would, it would tell me, I, 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 would, I would be thinking, people are not connecting. They're just looking for information. A bunch, you can have all the knowledge, information, you think is knowledge, information in the world, but if you don't have no understanding, no order, no guidance, you just, you just hold and retaining information. And if you can tell, because all people do is go back and forth with information and they listen to, to respond. Y'all know who I'm talking about, but it's you, it's you, because for the simple fact, if you can't humble yourself to say that you don't know because it's clear as day, Something ain't right. You don't know. How how would you have known? Who told you? It wasn't God? It wasn't your pastor. So I'm saying, let's make it make sense. Please make it make sense. You gotta think. Use your use your your heads. That common sense. The things that were we were provided with that was taken and and, and washed over. But it's time now. We've all was in that same boat. We all was. When you, if people know so much, they, they, none of it makes sense. And you ain't trying to. You're celebrating Christmas and Christmas wasn't even real. And those are facts. Start questioning. If you can't tell me education, you're educated. It's got to be about education. But did nothing for you at this point because you can't even process the fact that uh, you uh, make you want to start asking more questions or seeking. Seek, you, you shall find. Seek. You're not seeking. You just took information and rolling. You believed it. Knowing and believing are two different things. Just because you believe it, it don't make it true. But knowing means you can have and show the evidence like a UCC one. Like the actual actions that have to do with whatever you're speaking on and you can present it. You know, stuff like that. Like you look down, you see your leg, that's your leg. You know that, because that's there it goes right there. Here, see, see, you know, stuff like that. But like, once again, man, our vain imaginations, like when you read a book and then you you can make, the mind is a powerful thing. Just think of what a, a placebo is. Think about that and how somebody can completely think that they've taken something or that they're sick and then they become sick. So I'm going to drop that one off with you right there, because if you start questioning things and stop accepting things and then don't even make sense. You can't get the knowledge from, from man. If you was in the book the correct way, then you would know you, no one goes through to son. You can't get to the father unless you go through the son. You couldn't have went through the son because it wasn't here yet. And if it was a history book, how come you have no proof of it? Stop speaking on things that you can't even justify. If they lied to us about everything else, why, why would this be exempt? Can't make no sense of it, can you? And you never will. I was once there too, but guess what? Like it says in the will of God, I had to empty my cup. You be born again. That means in your mind. It don't mean that you were dipped in some water and blah, because it's your mindset. You can go in that water and come out the same person every time. Three times I was baptized. <laughs> He didn't do us no good to be about them. That wasn't what he was talking about. He wasn't talking about yeah, water. Yeah. People think that uh, there's magic in that water, huh? <laughs> yeah, then it's not. It's not. 
But we learn I, those. We, it, was, it was a learning process. First, oh yeah, had to come sure. along and straighten us out. He had to come. He had to. He said yeah. if he didn't show up, no flesh would be saved if time wasn't short. So time was short and so we could do this. But they got wind of it and said, uh oh, God, God, God back on the earth. We got to get these people their stuff back. This is script. We got in our bylaws. We got to go do it, this, but we got to give them this stuff back. They're going to be coming soon. They're ready to talk to us. So what? Uh, we got the whole game plan, y'all. We getting our stuff back. We going to be the salt of the earth. We got the flavor. We always had it. Why you think they serve us the way they do? They gonna be kissing our feet again. You know it. Yep. I tell you, they just hold on. They just hold on to something that's not even there so tightly, and it's like, uh, you know, it, I, I don't understand why they came wrap it around their head that they was lying to. Ask Sky about it. She went to Britain. She was oh, over yeah, there. You know. I'm definitely going to ask Sky. Sky, Sky I'll tell you. They plotting out stuff around. Yeah, you, you got it for now. But <laughs> can you show up? And then this one guy, he come on. He talking about, well, he, 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 he ain't another bloodline. We get the bloodline, sir. That ain't what we we out. He the one that he's been given the whole program. You step aside, sir. He talking about well, he got other people ahead of him. He can't just walk in. The hell he can't. <laughs> he got God that we do. You think he, you think he gonna listen to you? What they mean? He's not yes, <laughs> Some some character came on and, and he know about the stuff, but it's a lot he ain't he don't even know about because he got God. He talking about well he gonna have to go to the back of the line. He got all these other people hit him. I wouldn't give a damn if he does have them all ahead of him. He's still gonna get on the throne no matter what you say, and you gonna be looking sick. Yeah, he talking all that noise. Talking all about his backside. And you know the lie is thick because in Ethiopia, they're in Ethiopia and they didn't have the correct history. Or, or not the history, but the correct, the, the truth, you know? They were colonized. Everything was colonized. They colonized the whole world. Yep, That's how they everybody. changed up. They colonized. They lied. They stole. I find out a lot of black inventors. They took credit for it. That's all they did was just put their name on it. Yep. They're stealing. But they got to yep. give it back. They know. Surely did. Surely did. And that's how I know it makes sense that we wasn't supposed to be in that in them scrolls, Brother, um, Brother Clinton, because when you think about it, uh, if we wasn't in it, we would be probably be able to receive it better, but like how they colonized and what they did with the, the Indians, that 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 it was that was being described within those scribes, what was gonna happen with it. They took everything, stole it, and but people can't correlate the, the difference. They see history, everything's history, but actually our history was um played out already within the word the will. It was already that's what we would have been reading. Well after your after your people fail they turned against God and stole stuff and then put it on the white man. Put it on the Caucasian man. And they created them. They created them, but they told me not to tell that. But it's, it's out there. How did they come out? They were in caves. So they say, come on, man. But it's going to be a lot of stuff that we going to find out about. The, uh, the Royal Catholic Church going to tell us. They're going to tell us everything. I'm going to make sure I record it. I ain't going to really have to record it because everybody else is going to get it. So I'm going to get it <laughs> away. 
Yeah, people are gonna oh. be surprised, and people are not gonna handle it too well. And I know within, um, I don't like saying the word black, but with black with melanin people, we're gonna realize just how much we played a part in it. You know, could you blame everything on a white man, right? That was conditioned that way. Blame the white man, blame the white man. But how did the white man get, in the, get to it? You know what I mean? Who really was mixing the pot? <laughs> when you have grandma I'm tell you, you get to a, get to a, a fluid, and then you get it. And yep. so that somebody else whip you. Yeah. yeah we, we literally, you. my grandma used to make us do that. <laughs> That's what happened. That's what Oh man, oh man. And people can't believe it. They're like, God, God loves you, he will do that to you. That's what people don't understand. But you like you don't really know. You don't know that. You don't know God. When your parents, when they love you, what they do, they discipline you, right? He saw went out before Jacob. What did he do? Lie. He passed a lie around. He he didn't have no light, no game plan, no nothing. So he lied to everybody. He told him Christ died and all that, and and, and, and he, he 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 a deity. They made him a deity. Hmm. He ain't no deity. He a person. But God put His Spirit in. He's the anointed one. And y'all do the anointed one. He next in line. He tetros the third. See how it add up? The dream died. Look, they don't even know who this Tedros Tedro is. They, they missing so many pieces. Because I didn't know about Tedros either. And then, and then when I learned, I was like, well, then that really kills the 2,000-year-ago story. Because, <laughs> you know, what yeah, about the Tedros? But they were literally removed. No one's book of that. I'm like, no, that's, a, that's an Ethiopia. That's a whole statue. <laughs> They ain't got no bones to back it up. And we got a statue of Tetros. Yep. And the bones. And his hair. Come on, y'all. Yep. They lied and they know they lied. But they put the lie out. They didn't care. And look, what they do, they believed they it. Huh? it. They believed it. What right. you say about lies? Were lies and believe, huh? <laughs> yeah. Keep saying that people don't believe it. That was some genius stuff. That was some genius stuff they did. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. But we, but we saying Christ come to correct us. He come to correct us. Yeah. He come to give us stuff and get his people. That's what he come to do. That's God's will. That's what the will is. Put us back on top. We know how to handle it now. We gonna be at the bottom. We when we get to the top, we gonna appreciate it. We gonna yep. listen to what he say. We gonna do what he say, and we gonna say what he tells us to say, and he, we gonna do what he tells us to do. Yep. It's just people say, I don't, I don't follow no man. I'm like, what you mean you don't follow no man? You've been following the man all your life. Everything you do, you follow somebody order. So what you mean you can't follow no man? Don't even make no sense. <laughs> man, be pulling his ass. That's all. <laughs> man, you know, he you know he following a man. You follow him every time he go to get a paycheck. Exactly. You know if you don't show up to work, you get no money. You know, come on, y'all. Yeah, so you follow man all your life. This is man's rope. This man's rolling. This is man. So I don't think when people say that, like we talk about, you can't follow no man. Been followed. And people don't know that you ain't supposed to work. You ain't supposed to pay no taxes. You ain't supposed nope. to do none of that. You in a strange land that ain't yours, and you trying to fit in. You know, mm -hmm. land that ain't yours. You talking about this our land? No, it ain't. Like, you wasn't, you wasn't there. <laughs> They told you that they indoctrinated you. They told you that this your land. You were born here. No, you wasn't. Yeah. You wouldn't know where you had actually come from. Ethiopia. That's where it all started. Ain't nobody know nothing about us. Ain't have our book. Ain't have our scrolls. They put them in books. They stole all the stuff, put them in books. And mass produced. So everybody would know. That's how the lie was spread. 
and now everybody got ten thousand yeah, religions. Lie. Nobody don't. <laughs> yeah, and nobody don't want to turn it loose. And then you got the concentration camps, the camps, they tr- concentration camps. They hollering at the people and telling them they spreading the lie. They really making the lie true. Uh, and uh, I find out the twelve trillion in number Israel and, and Judah. That, wow. that that's the two sticks, and they gonna become one. When Christ showed up, they are one. That's why there ain't no 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 discrepancy and no argument because they that won. That is true. I haven't heard no They're arguments that get anybody to go say anything to dispute what he's doing. I haven't heard no one yet. Well, he gonna that two going to become one. Yeah, they 12. 12 is the number of the government. That's all 12 is. You say, it go, it go 12. We say it all the time. That's government. Law. Man, the things you can do when you just switch words around or, or add them or take them away <laughs> or give them a different definition. <laughs> they took Jesus, they took Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus is us. Other words of God. They put Jesus Christ. Then they took Israelite, Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew is a language, Israel is a people. Hmm. So many people are confused. So many people are confused with that. Yeah. It's simple, but you got to hear his voice. You you can't hear his voice one time. You got to come back. It's very true, y'all. It's, it's, it's enlightening when you can actually learn. You spend so much time not allowing yourself to grow. When you refuse to gain understanding or seek understanding or receive more information, then you start your growth. So when you stay stagnant in one position and say, this is our belief and nothing else is true, then you don't even allow yourself the chance to grow or even to know the truth. And this is for everybody. What makes you believe that your truth is your truth? You can ask me this stuff all day, but I'm gonna tell you what I do know is that I let go, I can say I emptied that cup out. I can say I removed everything that I was indoctrinated with to receive and it made sense. And I've been on this this journey to where I'm supposed to be and, and heard the voice and you know it when you follow it. We've been following something for so long that we all was in the same boat, we all were. So we talk about all this togetherness and things and that and how we're pit against one another. This was the ultimate. And we are truly real. Are, we are. No one's above when it comes to this because the whole world. What do you think that meant? No? So if you really was in this book that you know so much about, then how come you don't hearken to any of the information or to the voice? Because the, the word wasn't going to tell you. Okay. I mean, the word of God, you know, in the book, the book can't talk to you. It really can't to make that make sense. But, you know, even if you don't, you know, hearken to the word doesn't mean it ain't, it's not going to happen. Don't let that manifestation crap fool you completely where you think that you can just not make, to make this not happen. This is going to happen. I love you all, and um, let's do this together. But if you don't, then that was a choice you made. But it's it's, it's, a, it's a warming to to for me it is to know that everybody is included. That race really don't matter. Never did. That was man made to get us where we are.
heaven on earth, y'all. Because it is a beautiful one. Let's stop destroying it and receive. So guys, I think we're going to get ready to wind it on down here. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick it back up with Clinton another time too, so he can give us his, his rollout or even just stop by and do stories with Clinton, but we're going to have him back on. We have more guests coming. Um, like I said, and like Clinton said, there you have it. Scrolling across the screen is where you can find the petition and you can also check out the UCC one. And that is Yah. Jewjuda.com. It's right here on the screen. That is Y A H J E W J U D A H dot com. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you so much for my listeners, my supporters, and to all out there. Harkin. And until next time, this is your host, Brandy J. I'm going to roll us on out here with a clip from Yaja Judah, a little lesson here that I try to add within all the shows. Go check out that petition. Now, y'all, here's a statue of an individual that most of us don't know. But he's actually a great emperor of Ethiopia. Now, he sat on David's throne. And in this statue, it reads, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, I'm here to bring enlightenment because there's no other statue that's connected to an African man or no other way around the world where they are given the title King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, why is that important? Because that title is given to who? A 2,000-year-old individual called Jesus Christ. But yet, we got a 150-year-old individual which is something we can prove, something we can touch, something tangible, something we can handle. And he really has the title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So I want to know why are we not taught about this individual in history? He got to be important. It's a gold statue in Ethiopia. He's very important. Why are we not taught? The devil deceived the whole world.